Hey Dong! In this video, we're going to have a quick concept video uh, talking about pivoting the hilt. So sometimes there are ideas I want to put out there that aren't really like a full length, like 15 minute <laughs> you know, analysis of something. Uh, it's just kind of something that kind of comes up in the class or something like that. I'm like, I kind of just want to tell people about this kind of thing. Uh, so this is an example of that. My hope is actually this sounds kind of like a well duh, but sometimes that change in perspective is enough to give you a lot more feedback uh, than we were originally intending, right? So uh, the idea of this is when you're changing uh, positions, right? So when you're changing, uh, more or less when you're trying to reverse your dynamic. So I'm thinking about a few uh, combinations in Gumdo, but this doesn't have to be a Gumdo thing. This is very much something you can do primarily when you're doing a two-handed cut or two-handed movement, right? Uh, to kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about, right? So if I'm here, I can turn thrust, right? Or I'm, you know, here and then turn thrust. I like thrusting there. Uh, or, <laughs> right, so I mean here, up, here, bam. So those are all examples of changing uh, the, the flow, right? Going back the way you came. So what I want you to think about as you go through these is so yes what you can do is like okay i have this cut someone's behind me i need to bring this tip into their sorrel plexus i'm just gonna be like ha ha right or just because it's from the form i can ha ha right which is fine right and you can still do that fast you can still do that and it will probably feel it'll probably look the same no matter really how you do it but what i'd like for you to do is so thinking about that motion, right? So if I'm here, right? Thinking about the tip is kind of like the symptom that I want. I want the symptom to go from there straight into uh, the person's stomach because they are trying to murder me. Uh, but the way you do it, right? So you can have a root cause that can kind of cause this to happen a little more efficiently versus just kind of mimicking the result. So what I'd like for you to do is from here, right? So instead of thinking about what the tip is, think more about the root cause, right? So think about the, actually the uh, the sword itself, right? So I'm going to go over on this way. So the words I'm going to use just because they work for me uh, is a trigger finger here, right? Uh, and I'm going to use uh, the base of my palm on the root there, right? So in one handed, so from here, right? So I'm cutting this way, I want to bounce back the way I came, right? So from here, so instead of tip, think about twisting the hilt, right? So you're going to be pivoting the hilt to get the, there to thrust a little bit more efficiently, right? Oh, if it's two handed, one, tuck, right? Tuck in, bang, right? So the reason why I'm calling this pivoting the hilt, right? is just the sensation in your hands of the sword, right? So uh, the, the other example could be like, if I'm here, I want to stab behind me. I could just be like, huh, right? And just have that tip kind of just be like coming in and thrusting. Another way to think of it, pulling with the trigger, pushing, back, uh, pushing forward uh, with the base of your palm to the root of the sword, Pull, push and pull to get the tip exactly where you want it and thrust, right? Uh, same thing with, again, this could be with cuts, this could be with many other things, right? So if I'm changing directions, like if I'm you know, here, I just want to do a dial and cut behind me, pull in the trigger, push the, uh, the root in. So that is going to kind of change the perspective so it's going to be less shoulder activated and going to be more a little more uh, hand activated but it's going to give you a different sensation and the ideal is for those two th those two sensations to become one and not contradictory to each other we can extrapolate this a little bit right so this is sort of what people think of maybe <laughs> trying to give them benefit of doubt of the push pull right now i don't 
like that in most circumstances because when it's usually applied, it's usually for center cuts or some other uh, form of cut when you're actually cutting. I'm okay with this if you're changing direction, right? Because it really helps you control the weapon. It gives you a little more, uh, keeps you a little more in sync with the weapon. Um, so things to keep in mind, right? So if I'm here, so something you can do is if I'm cutting and I'm changing directions, I can pull back with the trigger, push it down to get back up, right? But what I'd like for you to feel uh, more than trying to like listen to me do it is feel what muscles activate as you do that, uh, as opposed to like when you turn to potentially to do a thrust. The reason why I'm more okay with thrusts is it's keeping the blade in and then you're just moving the whole body using the translation of the body to get a little more power with the thrust. Hopefully that makes sense. But anyway, that was a quick concept, just to kind of you know throw it out in the world and hopefully it hits someone who is interested in playing with that idea. So with that, make sure you stay safe, stay humble, and keep training. Hey dong!